Hello friends, welcome to Chemistry Nuggets where you can polish your knowledge and clear your thoughts. So friends, today's video is about aluminium trichloride or aluminium chloride. Why it is called Lewis acid or it is called as a lone pair acceptor. I will going to answer all these questions in this video. So let's have a look. AlCl3 or aluminium trichloride or we can say aluminium chloride. It has several names. One is Lewis acid, other name is electron pair acceptor and the other name is lone pair acceptor. The answer of all these questions why these names are given to aluminium trichloride is hidden in the configuration of the aluminium and chlorine atom. See aluminium has uh, 13 electrons. So the electronic configuration should be 1s2. 2s2, 2p6, 3s2 and 3p1. Now, where we need to point out is the balance shell that is 3s2 and 3p1. If we draw it here, we can get our answer 3s having 2 electrons and 3p is having only 1 electron. This is 3s and this is 3p. So there are 3 electrons in the valence shell of the aluminium. This is called a ground stage. If some energy is given, excited state could be like this. 1 electron will jump from the s orbital to the P orbital and it will look like this and in the hybridized condition hybridized condition what will happen the S and P together will make a sp2 hybridization and one PZ orbital will be left there behind this is P Z orbital and this is sp2 hybridization is going on here. So in this stage now aluminum is having three unpaired electrons. So it means aluminum has a capacity to accept three electrons from the outside to pair up these three unpaired electrons. In the same time chlorine is having 17 electron having the configuration of 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2 and 3p5. Let's have a look on the valence shell. It is something s3, s2 and this is 3s5. It means 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So 3p is having one electron less than the octet. So what is going on here? In this condition, the, this one electron of chlorine or we can say chlorine atom will attack the hybridized sp2 orbital of the aluminium to make a pair with the electron present there. So here one electron suddenly jump and mingle with this electron. In the same way, three chlorine atom will come and make the pair with the three unpaired electron of aluminium. So let's have a look what is going on here. Like aluminium having three electrons which are unpaired, sp2 hybridized and a pz vacant orbital. This is the hybridized state of aluminium. Sorry, aluminium. Now what will happen? Chlorine having one electron less will come and do the sharing with one electron of the aluminium and make a covalent bond. In the same way, one more chlorine atom having one less electron will come and share the electron with aluminium and like this three chlorine atom will come and make a 
covalent bond with the aluminium so that chlorine can satisfy its octet in this way what will happen aluminium chloride or aluminium trichloride is formed still having a vacant pz orbital so vacant pz orbital means or orbital has a capacity to put two electron in them so in this way we can say aluminium trichloride has a capacity to take two more electrons or we can say they can accommodate two more electrons and that's why aluminium trichloride is called electron pair acceptor or a lone pair acceptor clear and because of this habit of accepting the electron pair according to the lewis acid definition any species which can accept a lone pair of electron or a electron pair is called as lewis acid that's why aluminium trichloride is known as lewis acid so we can say aluminium chloride aluminium trichloride both are same is called as lewis acid or a electron pair acceptor or we can say one more ray lone pair acceptor so friends that's all for today in this video hope you guys understand if you have any doubt you can message me quickly till then keep studying bye thank you